Hey guys, it's Elizabeth in the library, and this is actually a question from an economics professor who was wondering if, number one, the library had certain publications, and number two, if there was an easy way for her students to have access to those publications. I'm going to cover the publications that this economics professor was looking for, which are The Economist, Business Week, and New York Times. And the second question, is there an easy way to have access to them? Not an easy way, but it just takes a few steps. And if you click on this link and it comes to the YouTube channel, those steps will be in the notes. So here we go. The first thing you need to do is that you need to do a publication search. The Economist, you can get the full text of The Economist, and that's going to be in the database. ProQuest Research Library, and you can find that under the general databases on the library website. So you'll go in, you'll do a publication search, and then when you get into there, you'll have an opportunity to um, click on alert or RSS, and then you can email the alert to yourself, or you can copy and paste the link to create, to put it in a reader for an RSS feed. So I just want to make sure if you do the email alert that you do the email alert for the full text only because you only want to get the full text um, of the articles, which you can get the full text of the articles in The Economist. So Business Week is actually going to be under the Business Database section and it's going to be in Business Source Elite. And this one's a little different. It's a different database provider. So if you want the email alert, you have to create an account inside of there or you can get the RSS um, link and you can put that into a reader. So same thing, if you're gonna do that, make sure you do the alert for full text only. The New York Times is in yet another database. That's gonna be under newspapers and it's gonna be National Newspapers Core. Go and do a, a publication search. And this one, you can just do the email alert or the RSS. And again, if you have the, if you need to check a box, check the one for full text. And as my husband says, this is all a lot of work to get to something. And in the library, we're always trying to make it easier for you. But right now, that's kind of the steps you need to do if you're interested in that. But it gives you full text access, the whole access to um, the whole magazine. So just a few notes right now, really quickly. If you decide to do the RSS feed and to put that in some sort of reader, you do need to delete our easy proxy information. And so that is going to be in the URL, this part that says dot easy proxy dot ccc lib dot n o c c c d dot e d u. So if you take that out and you put that into your blog reader, then you can just subscribe and you will have it there. The other note I have here is for viewing the publication. So if um, I've been testing this out, so here's what it looks like in my email when I get one of the notices that it comes up. So I will just click on um, one of these items and then what will happen is you'll need to log into the library databases and that's going to be your username and password. And then it should take you straight to the article. And sometimes, um, I'm depending on where you're kind of set up with your databases, I highly recommend that you click on the full text PDF. And that will let you look at the whole article like it was in the, um, the magazine. The New York Times, when I was looking on that, it, I didn't see there was a PDF option. It was only text. So just know that that is there. But you can totally have this information sent to you right to your email. Or if you have an RSS feed reader, you can use that. The library, we're working on trying to find more effective ways and easier ways for this. But in the meantime, that is kind of phase one on how you can find some publications and you can have access to them right away for your courses. If you are looking for a publication, you can look in any of our um, databases to do a publication search. And if you can't find them, go ahead and contact us in the library and we'll be happy to help you to see if we have them. Hopefully we do. And that's it. I hope you have a great week and a great semester and uh, we'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.